was talking to Matt yesterday, not, not yesterday, on Thursday. I was talking to Matt yet on Thursday, and Matt tells me. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt tells me that after we confirmed him for the con, he saw you were going to be here. He sent you a message on Facebook and was like, hey, I'm Matt Sturgis. Um, going, 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 I, I tried to friend her and she totally didn't friend me back. <laughs> so, so, so the question is, why aren't you fr Facebook friends with Matt Sturgis? That's right. He already asked me and I already told him. Um, <laughs> Get this 
weird sort of like art like substance. Um, so I always thought that was really intriguing. So for House of Mystery, I decided to do something a little different to hopefully make it more coherent, which is uh, I got five writers together, um, and we started off by giving Bill Willingham the first chunk of the story, <coughs> let him write whatever he wanted to do, and then uh, he handed off to the next guy, uh, who is a, a new writer named Dave Justice, who's really fantastic and uh, someone to look out for. He then handed it off to Paul Levitt, who's a writer you may have heard of. Um, and after him was Elisa Quitney, who used to be an editor at Vertigo and is now a novelist. And then I came last. Now, the problem is that um, Bill Willingham is kind of a, a mischievous, evil man. And so <laughs> what he wanted to do was have it so that like, the first person would write a story that wrote the next person into a corner, like by doing something like putting the protagonist in a situation that was going to be impossible to get out of. And so he did that, and then he sent his part on to Dave. And what Dave was supposed to do was write the characters out of that situation and then write the next person into a different situation. But what Dave instead decided instead decided to do was to make it worse. Worse <laughs> <laughs> predicament. And then uh, Paul Levitz got and he thought that was pretty cool, so he did it too. And then Elisa got it, she made it much, much worse. <laughs> now I haven't read any of these until it comes to me. But I've got five pages to wrap up this story where a lot has gone wrong. And, and I made the choice to have it like set in the continuity of the book, which was stupid. And, uh, and I promised everyone that nobody was allowed to cheat in how they got the people out of the situations. Of course, nobody had to bother with that because they didn't do it. <laughs> it was left to me to actually work it all out. And um, I, I, I think I did it. So uh, you'll, you'll have to judge for yourself when it comes up. Anyway, when's that going to come out next month? Next month, that. Uh, <laughs> okay, so look, I guess the next thing I want to talk about is that is that you know, Fiona and Amy you know, both you know, currently Fiona's doing the covers for DB8, um, which uh, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, you can you can get a copy of DB8 DB8 One, which doesn't come out for two more weeks, signed by Fiona, last year's guest Brian Wood, and uh, Rebecca Isaacs. So definitely, it's, all the proceeds go to your initiative. So stop by the front, the registration desk, and check that out if you're interested. Um, but you know, Fiona's doing the the covers for.